does nothing from what some people say. But, you know, people. And then boatloads of lights. Fortunately, it's at kind of an angle, so it actually, this might actually be useful for actually seeing what the laptop's doing, even if it is on your lap. Okay, so, without further ado, let's just tear into it and install some RAM. I'm not sure how far I'm going to break this thing down, but, you know, I guess we'll see, right? So. So let's put this there. There we go. Let's go ahead and tear into her, shall we? In a normal circumstances, I would have a little thing to put these in, but currently I don't know where the heck it went to. Looks like I hold the screw to the same side anyway, so it's not going to hurt anybody's feelings. Without getting them mixed up. I just hope I don't pick out the motherboard. Although, pretty good chance it could be underneath the keyboard for the uh, other RAM sticks. Let's see if that one did not. Alright, and away we go. I see one of the hard drives. From what I gather from other people's teardowns of this is that there's a special hard drive caddy that both hard drives kind of stack on top of each other. Which I also have a one terabyte drive to throw into this guy too. So. That will uh, be interesting to look at. I was kind of worried that maybe it might have a special caddy that you have to purchase. Um, We'll, uh, we'll cross that road we'll have to. And Derek was not getting any free advertising. Oh, and of, of course, the best upgrade of all, I got myself a little Linux Action Show stickers and go on this bad boy. I have a TechSnap one also. Unfortunately, I don't know where it went to. Because why would I know where stuff went if I had it laying somewhere? Right. Yeah. People always come along and hide things from you. So I think it'd probably be easier for us to start at the front, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I need some of my little handy dandy picks. This guy does not want to come apart. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty easy once you get something under there. Nice. Okay. So, aha! Wow, that actually came off really easy. Nice. Okay, so we have one slot occupied here. We got one slot right there occupied with eight gigs of RAM. And then here's the hard drive caddy, which, uh, as you can see, it's kind of big. So I would assume that is indeed the case. Uh, and then there is. Wow, can I put two more? Uh, two more of these guys in here? Oh, that's going to be sick if I could. And then possibly the other stick around goes underneath the keyboard. So, let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Oh, great. And my wife's calling. Okay, I guess I'll pause this for now. Okay, so after all that was said and done, um, I have got the caddy out. It has three screws. Uh, it usually sits in like this. There's one here on the front, one here at the back, and there's one here at the top. Uh, I now have both hard drives in there, as you can tell. I believe it was like seven millimeter, I think, is the size of the hard drive. It looks like it probably fit a little bit bigger in there. But, uh, Somewhere I read it's supposed to be a 7mm hard drive, so I got an extra 1 terabyte 7mm hard drive to throw in this thing. Let's see. Uh -huh. And because I'm a little short on screws, oh wait, nope, there we go. I'm only going to be putting three of the screws in there. I too like to live dangerously. <clears throat> 
head and take care of them. So that just means this should just slide right in here. There we go. See if it fits. Will it blend? Well, oh, you know what? I see what happened here. One goes one way and then the other one flips around. There reminds my problem. So uh, the second hard drive is supposed to face the opposite direction. <sighs> okay, let's flip her around then. So, like a so. And I found it's easier if you just slide it in there just like that. There you go. Good. Throw some hard drive screws in there. There we go. Good deal. Alright, now we can install this bad boy. Like this. Ta-da! It's in. Okay, so it's... And also, just so you know, there's a small screw at the front, and then the other, and then there's a silver one at the back, and a black one at the middle. That's in. There. This one right here, one over here. And then this one. Right there. There we go. Good deal. So, the F4 ATB A24. That's a little peculiar, right? It's, I've been seeing this System76 uses for, come on, focus, focus, there you go. System76 probably uses this for the internal stuff. Uh, they use little stickers and stuff like that. And then there's uh, the date, apparently. Uh, and then there's your, your RAM module. Never heard of gold key, but hey, you know, whatever, right? Here's our, right, yeah, drop the RAM. It's cheap anyways, right? Uh, there we go. Put some this ballistic memory. It's supposed to be so fabulous, right? There we go. Okay, I think we're done under here. I guess we go over a, a quick look around. Yeah, going on here. So let's see here. You get your big honking battery right there, which it doesn't have the. Uh, wattage on it but um, apparently it was uh, just in September all these stickers have September on them and there's uh, there's the SSD that has uh, a part number on it too I'm assuming that's what System76 uses for all their internal stuff um, yeah pretty nifty eh? okay let's go and strap the bottom back on it then we'll pull the keyboard off real quick See what that looks like. I think oh, that seems like it's kind of it. Let's check. Yeah. Seems like it. More or less. I'm sure as soon as I uh, take and screw it in, it won't be a, Oh, there it goes. It's that time. Alright, let's take a look here on how we're going to get this keyboard out. One of my most unfavorite parts about these things. Let's use our little guitar pick real quick. Uh, jab it in here. Try to. Come on, come on, get in there, Chuck. We don't want to damage this nice, beautiful, rainbow colored keyboard. Because, you know, everything has to be rainbows, right? There you go. Alright, yep. So, 
Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to pull off that right now. All right, so underneath the keyboard, we do have our two access to our other two RAM slots. Okay. We're gonna need you two. And they are behind a little metal panel there. And it has three screws apparently. It might have four. As of right now, it kind of looks like three. Nope, it has four. In that anymore, I have to. Just have to take the word for it. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I like it. By the way, all the screws under here are pretty small too. I like to live so dangerously, I don't even bother booting the computer before uh, ripping into it, right? Because who will do that? I guess I probably should have turned it on first. Yeah, that's a little uh, RF shield, I guess. Apparently, I inadvertently unplugged the uh, backlight. So that's nice, right? Yep, you're in. Okay. We'll go ahead and reattach this. Apparently that is the it has RGB on the label for it, so one would imagine. That's what it's for. Alright. Make sure the rest of these are nice and snug. Yep. This one. Man, this thing is really nice to take apart. I know that's a weird thing to say. Hey, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the I.O. panel back on there. Or the uh, little shill for the memory. <sighs> it's because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. Alright, that has to be it. Lunch, lunch! Give me lunch or give me death. If I can just see bad way to get under there again. I'm pretty sure everybody in the video is like, Don't do it! And I will left too late, already did. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. I are smart. I are put things on backwards. But not in proper order. It, is, it sits really nicely in there. I gotta admit, I like the build quality of this thing. But the only thing I'll probably miss from Lenovo's are the fact that you have the little drains thingy, uh, little drain holes for fluid that get peel, spilled on the keyboard. Unfortunately, they don't. Thanks. Unfortunately, they don't all have that feature. Uh, I've got a friend of Lenovo, and he somehow spilled fluid. Uh, a cup of orange juice all over his his laptop. Yay for that. Okay, cool. Check those connectors, they're in good. Alright. This guy has three fans in it. Sweet Jesus. I didn't notice that for some reason earlier. Yeah. It's a, a nice feeling keyboard. Yeah, I like that. I also like the fact that the you know, palms rest there. They are barely even close. It's like, yeah, they're, they're not very close to the uh, the trackpad, honestly. Hmm. Okay. So flip her over and fill it full of screws. See the darn thing turns on, right? Yeah, we all enjoy that. Oh, there's actually a little push pull right there. You get the keyboard off. Well, hell, look at that. I knew some models had some features like that, but uh, apparently, yeah, this, this one actually has that. I'm usually uh, the kind of guy that doesn't get care. I'm just stick something in there and get it to come apart. I'll force it into that situation. 
right. Yeah, come on. There you go. There you are. There. Yeah, it has quite a few screws in it, but uh, what's worth, I think I probably did this in, I don't know, 20 minutes, I guess. It's not too bad. And it's the first time ever opening this up, even. So, oh, we'll give it we'll give that. It wasn't too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm sure whenever I take do this video, I'll just fast forward past these points. I'll just cut them out entirely. There we go. Alright, it's all back together. So, go over this again, you have those two screw holes right there for the keyboard and there's a little push hole right there, you just push through there and that would, uh, that would take care of pushing the keyboard out okay, so now that we complete the file this poor computer let's go ahead and turn it on I need to press and hold it for just a little bit oh, I didn't actually push down all the way, it actually clicks and we have a backlight keyboard, so that's good Lights are on, more or less. And, 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 and. I don't know what that button means. Nothing on the display. I might be just booting for the first time. What we can do is pull this guy off, and I think there's a mini display port. Oh, look, there it is. There's the Ubuntu logo. All right, no stress, no stress at all. Oh, I'm not gonna bother hooking the screen up then. Not right now. And ta-da! Ooh, oh, that's nice. I like that trackpad. Oh, I like those mouse clickers. All right, and yeah. Some wireless. That's nice. Nice brush aluminum right here. I don't know what that. That might be just plastic right there for the speakers. Hmm. What else we got on here? Yeah. Oh, over here on the side we have the keyboard backlight buttons. This one turns it down. Bring it back up. English. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I guess that works. Alright, look at that. Nifty, nifty. This has the 1080p screen, the IS, I, IPS display. Those, and that's as far back as I can hurt you there. Well, it has some pretty good viewing angle on it, though. Yeah. I wonder how we changed the. Oh, they're over here on the side. That's the power, and this is. Oh, that changes the colors. Ooh, nifty, neato. Jesus, this shit kind of colors here. We're in! Man, that's fast. And unfortunately, hey look, my Windows desktop decided to come back to life. Need for Windows. Ta da! Look at that. Man, that's a really nice looking screen. If I can get in on that, let's see. Let's see, let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. And it's going to have that blue... Ah, oh, man. White balance isn't correct at all. Oh, well. Let's see what we got here. Let's go under system. Uh, system monitor, and then... Detail. So that's the thing that really matters, right? 39.3 gigs of RAM. 
Very nice. We got all them beautiful cores. Let's look at the disk. Make sure that the hard drive shows up. And it does right there. Of course, I had some other stuff already on that of the hard drive. Uh, there we go. And right here, we have our Ubuntu GNOME install right here. That bad boy installed. Yeah, it works. It's alive. Um, I guess that's it for this video.